approximately two credit cards times two credit cards. We're going to see how much small plastic bits I can find within this small square on the beach. How do you think you're gonna move forward to identify the little plastic threads? Um, well, they, they brought a bottle of samples to Vano uh, Aflopet, uh, to see if someone recognized it. And uh, yeah, after that, I don't know, I'll start to ask people. I think. Maybe, I don't know, good question. Do you think the university could help? Yeah. Some uh, students, chemistry students maybe? Yeah, that's a good point. I should, uh, the best would be if that goes through uh, the official part of this project. Uh, through the have also have no one of Afloop uh sleep of set as But they uh, do that kind of work because I mean it's a uh, such a long project. I have no idea where to begin to be honest. And here we're trying to pick the Tiny little plastic bits. Yeah, which are. I don't know really why, but quite often they are round. Maybe they're um, uh, round because of the water? Yeah, that's, that's one possibility. Mm. Actually, this is what I would like to do with the, with the sweep teams. That they get like uh, five square meters and really do it secure but it yeah, depends a bit on the age I guess who can do that but in this way you really clean a beach do you, do you think there is any other method to to pick the tiny little bits um, yeah, w one idea that uh, that we had recently is um, to have a, I don't know the English word, uh, the Dutch word is safe. Uh, and what, do you know what it is in Norwegian? Mm. Like the, the, what they also have for children on the beach, like a bucket and a safe uh, yeah, to clean. Oh, like a, um, a, like a seal. Seal, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that was the Norwegian. Exactly. And that might be an uh, idea, and I know that they also have those in uh, in uh, building construction uh, sites. Mm -hmm. so maybe we can uh, find one of those. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one as aspect is that uh, plastic is um, heavier than stone and shells. Heavier. Yeah, no, uh, lighter, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, if 
you, for instance, um, if you, for instance, have a, um, you know, like a cement um, mixer. Mm -hmm. If you have a cement mixer on the beach, oh, yeah. and you take the shovels yeah. into the and and put all the stuff on the beach into yeah. one of those, the plastic would float on top, oh, maybe. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because they're lighter. Yeah. That's also something that is uh, reachable, I would say. So this, uh, these uh, square centimeters, I would say, are cleared. So I'm starting to go outside of the line now. <laughs> outside the box. Yeah, there's another one. The black ones are a bit more difficult to see. This is plastic. It's like from a plastic Christmas tree. I'm not sure, but this could be. Mm. Yeah, and then when you go through it, you see things again. Yes. It looks more like an animal. We have another helper here. So now we're gonna count how many there are. Okay, well, because this is all from here. Yeah. And try to figure out how, on average, how much of these tiny plastic bits there are on this beach. So now we've done four sites yeah. of approximately 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to see the. I mean, if you look at the that the part near the water, that I guess that is um, that is there. There won't be so much, maybe. But I think if you dig, <laughs> then I think there's more because this this is sort of a structural uh, problem. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to walk around to see if there are no needles. Uh.